brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Morocco. Morocco, officially known as the Kingdom of Morocco, is a sovereign country located in the Maghreb region of North Africa. Geographically, Morocco is characterized by a rugged mountainous interior, large tracts of desert, and a lengthy coastline along the Atlantic Ocean and Mediterranean Sea. Morocco has a population of over 33.8 million and an area of its capital is Rabat, and the largest city is Casablanca. Other major cities include Marrakesh, Tangier, Tetouan, Saleh, Fez, Safi, Agadir, Mekna, Oujda, Kenitra, and Nador. A historically prominent regional power, Morocco has a history of independence not shared by its neighbors. Since the foundation of the first Moroccan state by Idris I in 789, the country has been ruled by a series of independent dynasties, reaching its zenith under the Almoravid and Almohad dynasty, spanning parts of Iberia and northwestern Africa. Marinid and Saadi dynasties continued the struggle against foreign domination and Morocco remained the only North African country to avoid Ottoman occupation. The Alawite dynasty, the current ruling dynasty, seized power in 1666. In 1912 Morocco was divided into French and Spanish protectorates, with an international zone in Tangier, and regained its independence in 1956. Moroccan culture is a blend of Arab, indigenous Berber, sub-Saharan African, and European influences. Morocco claims the non-self-governing territory of Western Sahara as its southern provinces. Morocco annexed the territory in 1975, leading to a guerrilla war with indigenous forces until a ceasefire in 1991. Peace processes have thus far failed to break the political deadlock. Morocco is a constitutional monarchy, with an elected parliament. The King of Morocco holds vast executive and legislative powers, especially over the military, foreign policy and religious affairs. Executive power is exercised by the government, while legislative power is vested in both the government and the two chambers of parliament, the Assembly of Representatives and the Assembly of Councillors. The King can issue decrees called dahirs which have the force of law. He can also dissolve the Parliament after consulting the Prime Minister and the President of the Constitutional Court. Morocco's predominant religion is Islam, and the official languages are Arabic and Berber. The Moroccan dialect, referred to as Daria, and French are also widely spoken. Morocco is a member of the Arab League, the Union for the Mediterranean, and the African Union. It has the fifth largest economy of Africa. Etymology The full Arabic name translates to Kingdom of the West, although the West in Arabic is for historical references, medieval Arab historians and geographers sometimes referred to Morocco is to distinguish it from neighboring historical regions called And. The basis of Morocco's English name is Marrakesh, its capital under the Almoravid dynasty, and Almohad Caliphate. The origin of the name Marrakesh is disputed, but is most likely from the Berber words Amurakesh or Land of God. The modern Berber name for Marrakesh is Marakc. In Turkish, Morocco is known as Fez, a name derived from its ancient capital of Fez. However, this was not the case in other parts of the Islamic world until the middle of the 20th century. The common name of Morocco in Egyptian and Middle Eastern Arabic literature was Marrakesh. This name is still used in some languages such as Persian, Urdu, Punjabi and Pashto. The English name Morocco is an anglicization of the Spanish Moroccos. Prehistory and Antiquity The area of present-day Morocco has been inhabited since Paleolithic times. 
sometime between 190,000 and 90,000 BC. A recent publication may demonstrate an even earlier habitation period, as Homo sapien fossils discovered in the late 2000s near the Atlantic coast in Jebel Irud were recently dated to roughly 315,000 years before present. During the Upper Paleolithic, the Maghreb was more fertile than it is today, resembling a savanna more than today's arid landscape. 22,000 years ago, the Atarian was succeeded by the Ibero-Morsian culture, which shared similarities with Iberian cultures. Skeletal similarities have been suggested between the Ibero-Morsian, Mechthorophilou, burials, and European Cro-Magnon remains. The Ibero-Morsian was succeeded by the Bika culture in Morocco. Mitochondrial DNA studies have discovered a close link between Berbers and the Sami of Scandinavia. This supports theories that the Franco-Cantabrian refuge area of southwestern Europe was the source of late glacial expansions of hunter-gatherers who repopulated northern Europe after the last ice. Age. North Africa and Morocco were slowly drawn into the wider emerging Mediterranean world by the Phoenicians, who established trading colonies and settlements in the early Classical period. Substantial Phoenician settlements were at Chela, Lixus and Mogador. Mogador was a Phoenician colony as early as the early 6th century BC. Morocco later became a realm of the North African civilization of ancient Carthage as part of its empire. The earliest known independent Moroccan state was the Berber Kingdom of Mauritania under King Barga. This ancient kingdom dates at least to 225 BC. Mauritania became a client kingdom of the Roman Empire in 33 BC. Emperor Claudius annexed Mauritania directly as a Roman province in 44 AD under an imperial governor. During the crisis of the 3rd century, parts of Mauritania were reconquered by Berber tribes. Direct Roman rule became confined to a few coastal cities in Mauritania Tingitana and Shershel in Mauritania Caesariensis by the late 3rd century. Early Islamic Era The Muslim conquest of the Maghreb, that started in the middle of the 7th century, was achieved early into the following century. It brought both the Arabic language and Islam to the area. Although part of the larger Islamic Empire, Morocco was initially organized as a subsidiary province of Ifriqiya, with the local governors appointed by the Muslim governor in Kirwan. The indigenous Berber tribes adopted Islam, but retained their customary laws. They also paid taxes and tribute to the new Muslim administration. The first independent Muslim state in the area of modern Morocco was the Kingdom of Nekor, an emirate in the Rif Mountains. It was founded by Saleh ibn Mansur in 710, as a client state to the Rashidun Caliphate. After the outbreak of the Berber Revolt in 739, the Berbers formed other independent states such as the Minasa of Sijilmasa and the Bhagawata. According to medieval legend, Idris ibn Abdullah had fled to Morocco after the Abbasids' massacre of his tribe in Iraq. He convinced the Uraba Berber tribes to break their allegiance to the distant Abbasid caliphs in Baghdad and he founded the Idriyid dynasty in 788. The Idriyids established Fez as their capital and Morocco became a center of Muslim learning and a major regional power. The Idrisids were ousted in 927 by the Fatimid Caliphate and their Minasa allies. After Minasa broke off relations with the Fatimids in 932, they were removed from power by the Mughrawa of Sijilmasa in 980. Berber dynasties From the 11th century onwards, a series of Berber dynasties arose under the Almoravid dynasty. 
and the Almohad dynasty. Morocco dominated the Maghreb, much of present-day Spain and Portugal, and the western Mediterranean region. From the 13th century onwards the country saw a massive migration of the Banu Hilal Arab tribes. In the 13th and 14th centuries the Marinids held power in Morocco and strove to replicate the successes of the Almohads by military campaigns in Algeria and Spain. They were followed by the Watasids. In the 15th century, the Reconquista ended Muslim rule in central and southern Spain and many Muslims and Jews fled to Morocco. Portuguese efforts to control the Atlantic sea trade in the 15th century did not greatly affect the interior of Morocco even though they managed to control some possessions on the Moroccan coast, but not venturing further afield inland. On another note and according to Elizabeth Allo Ishai, in 1520, there was a famine in Morocco so terrible that for a long time other events were dated by it. It has been suggested that the population of Morocco fell from five to under 3 million between the early 16th and 19th centuries. Sharifian dynasties In 1549, the region fell to successive Arab dynasties claiming descent from the Islamic prophet Muhammad I. The Saudi dynasty who ruled from 1549 to 1659, and then the Alawite dynasty who remained in power since the 17th century. Under the Saudi dynasty, the country repulsed Ottoman incursions and a Portuguese invasion. At the Battle of Ksar al-Kabir in 1578, the reign of Ahmad al-Mansur brought new wealth and prestige to the Sultanate, and a large expedition to West Africa inflicted a crushing defeat on the Songhai Empire in 1591. However, managing the territories across the Sahara proved too difficult. After the death of Al-Mansur, the country was divided among his sons. In 1666, Morocco was reunited by the Alawite dynasty, who have been the ruling house of Morocco ever since. Morocco was facing aggression from Spain, and the Ottoman Empire allies pressing westward. The Alawites succeeded in stabilizing their position, and while the kingdom was smaller than previous ones in the region, it remained quite wealthy. Against the opposition of local tribes Ismail ibn Sharif began to create a unified state. With his Jaish Dal al-Rif he seized Tangier from the English in 1684 and drove the Spanish from Larisha in 1689. Morocco was the first nation to recognize the fledgling United States as an independent nation in 1777. In the beginning of the American Revolution, American merchant ships in the Atlantic Ocean were subject to attack by the Barbary pirates. On 20 December 1777, Morocco's Sultan Mohammed III declared that American merchant ships would be under the protection of the Sultanate and could thus enjoy safe passage. The Moroccan-American Treaty of Friendship, signed in 1786, stands as the U.S.'s oldest non-broken friendship treaty. French and Spanish Protectorates As Europe industrialized, North Africa was increasingly prized for its potential for colonization. France showed a strong interest in Morocco as early as 1830, not only to protect the border of its Algerian territory, but also because of the strategic position of Morocco on two oceans. In 1860, a dispute over Spain's Ceuta enclave led Spain to declare war. Victorious Spain won a further enclave and an enlarged suitor in the settlement. In 1884, Spain created a protectorate in the coastal areas of Morocco. In 1904, France and Spain carved out zones of influence in Morocco. Recognition by the United Kingdom of France's sphere of influence provoked a strong reaction 
from the German Empire, and a crisis loomed in 1905. The matter was resolved. At the Algeciras Conference in 1906, the Agadir Crisis of 1911 increased tensions between European powers. The 1912 Treaty of Fez made Morocco a protectorate of France, and triggered the 1912 Fez riots. Spain continued to operate its coastal protectorate. By the same treaty, Spain assumed the role of protecting power over the northern and southern Saharan zones. Tens of thousands of colonists entered Morocco. Some bought up large amounts of the rich agricultural land, others organized the exploitation and modernization of mines and harbors. Interest groups that formed among these elements continually pressured France to increase its control over Morocco, a control which was also made necessary by the continuous wars among Moroccan tribes, part of which had taken sides with the French. Since the beginning of the conquest, Governor-General, Marshal Hubert Lyot T. sincerely admired Moroccan culture and succeeded in imposing a joint Moroccan-French administration, while creating a modern school system. Several divisions of Moroccan soldiers served in the French army in both World War I and World War II, and in the Spanish Nationalist Army in the Spanish Civil War and after. The institution of slavery was abolished in 1925. Between 1921 and 1926, a Berber uprising in the Rif Mountains, led by Abd el Krim, led to the establishment of the Republic of the Rif. The Spanish lost more than 13,000 soldiers at annual in July August 1921. The rebellion was eventually suppressed by French and Spanish troops. In 1943, the Istiklal Party was founded to press for independence with discreet U.S. support. That party subsequently provided most of the leadership for the nationalist movement. France's exile of Sultan Mohammed V in 1953 to Madagascar, and his replacement by the unpopular Mohammed Ben Arafa sparked active opposition to the French and Spanish protectorates. The most notable violence occurred in Oujda, where Moroccans attacked French and other European residents in the streets. France allowed Mohammed V to return in 1955, and the negotiations that led to Moroccan independence began the following year. In March 1956 the French protectorate was ended, and Morocco regained its independence from France as the Kingdom of Morocco. A month later Spain ceded most of its protectorate in northern Morocco to the new state, but kept its two coastal enclaves on the Mediterranean coast. Sultan Mohammed became king in 1957. Post-independence Upon the death of Mohammed V, Hassan II became king of Morocco on 3 March 1961. Morocco held its first general elections in 1963. However, Hassan declared a state of emergency and suspended parliament in 1965. In 1971, there was a failed attempt to depose the king and establish a republic. A truth commission set up in 2005 to investigate human rights abuses during his reign confirmed nearly 10,000 cases, ranging from death in detention to forced exile. Some 592 people were recorded killed during Hassan's rule according to the Truth Commission. The Spanish enclave of IFNI in the south was returned to Morocco in 1969. The Polisario movement was formed in 1973, with the aim of establishing an independent state in the Spanish Sahara. On 6 November 1975 King Hassan asked for volunteers to cross into the Spanish Sahara. Some 350,000 civilians were reported as being involved in the Green March. A month later, Spain agreed to leave the Spanish Sahara, soon to become Western Sahara, and to transfer it 
to join Moroccan Mauritanian control, despite the objections and threats of military intervention by Algeria. Moroccan forces occupied the territory. Moroccan and Algerian troops soon clashed in Western Sahara. Morocco and Mauritania divided up Western Sahara, fighting between the Moroccan military and Polisario forces continued for many years. The prolonged war was a considerable financial drain on Morocco. In 1983, Hassan cancelled planned elections amid political unrest and economic crisis. In 1984, Morocco left the Organization of African Unity in protest of the SADR's admission to the body. Polisario claimed to have killed more than 5,000 Moroccan soldiers between 1982 and 1985. Algerian authorities have estimated the number of Sahrawi refugees in Algeria to be 165,000. Diplomatic relations with Algeria were restored in 1988. In 1991, a UN-monitored ceasefire began in Western Sahara, but the territory's status remains undecided, and ceasefire violations are reported. The following decade saw much wrangling over a proposed referendum on the future of the territory, but the deadlock was not broke on. Political reforms in the 1990s resulted in the establishment of a bicameral legislature in 1997 and Morocco's first opposition-led government came to power in 1998. King Hassan II died in 1999, and was succeeded by his son, Mohammed VI. He is a cautious modernizer who has introduced some economic and social liberalization. Mohammed VI paid a controversial visit to the Western Sahara in 2002. Morocco unveiled an autonomy blueprint for Western Sahara to the United Nations in 2007. The Polisario rejected the plan and put forward its own proposal. Morocco and the Polisario Front held UN-sponsored talks in New York, but failed to come to any agreement. In 2010, security forces stormed a protest camp in the Western Sahara triggering violent demonstrations in the regional capital Oauin. In 2002, Morocco and Spain agreed to a U.S.-brokered resolution over the disputed island of Perehi. Spanish troops had taken the normally uninhabited island after Moroccan soldiers landed on it and set up tents and a flag. There were renewed tensions in 2005 as hundreds of African migrants tried to storm the borders of the Spanish enclaves of Melilla and Ceuta. Morocco deported hundreds of the illegal migrants. In 2006 the Spanish Premier Zapatero visited Spanish enclaves. He was the first Spanish leader in 25 years to make an official visit to the territories. The following year, Spanish King Juan Carlos I visited Ceuta and Melilla further angering Morocco which demanded control of the enclaves. During the 2011-12 Moroccan protests, thousands of people rallied in Rabat and other cities calling for political reform and a new constitution curbing the powers of the king. In July 2011, the king won a landslide victory in a referendum on a reformed constitution he had proposed to placate the Arab Spring protests. Despite the reforms made by Mohammed Vi, demonstrators continued to call for deeper reforms. Hundreds took part in a trade union rally in Casablanca in May 2012. Participants accused the government of failing to deliver on reforms. Geography Morocco has a coast by the Atlantic Ocean that reaches past the Strait of Gibraltar into the Mediterranean Sea. It is bordered by Spain to the north, Algeria to the east, and Western Sahara to the south. Since Morocco controls most of Western Sahara, its de facto southern boundary is with Mauritania. 
The internationally recognized borders of the country lie between latitudes 27 degrees and 36 degrees north, and longitudes 1 degree and 14 degrees west. Adding Western Sahara, Morocco lies mostly between 21 degrees and 36 degrees north, and 1 degree and 17 degrees west. The geography of Morocco spans from the Atlantic Ocean, to mountainous areas, to the Sahara Desert. Morocco is a northern African country, bordering the North Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea, between Algeria and the annexed Western Sahara. It is one of only three nations to have both Atlantic and Mediterranean coastlines. A large part of Morocco is mountainous. The Atlas Mountains are located mainly in the center and the south of the country. The Rif Mountains are located in the north of the country. Both ranges are mainly inhabited by the Berber people. At Morocco is the 57th largest country in the world. Algeria borders Morocco to the east and southeast, though the border between the two countries has been closed since 1994. Spanish territory in North Africa neighboring Morocco comprises five enclaves on the Mediterranean coast, Ceuta, Melilla, Penon de Vicutelez de la Gomera, Penon de Alucimas, the Chafarinas Islands, and the disputed islet Perehi. Off the Atlantic coast the Canary Islands belong to Spain, whereas Madeira to the north is Portuguese. To the north, Morocco is bordered by the Strait of Gibraltar, where international shipping has unimpeded transit passage between the Atlantic and Mediterranean. The Rif Mountains stretch over the region bordering the Mediterranean from the northwest to the northeast. The Atlas Mountains run down the backbone of the country, from the northeast to the southwest. Most of the southeast portion of the country is in the Sahara Desert, and as such is generally sparsely populated and unproductive economically. Most of the population lives to the north of these mountains, while to the south lies the Western Sahara, a former Spanish colony that was annexed by Morocco in 1975. Morocco claims that the Western Sahara is part of its territory and refers to that as its southern provinces. Morocco's capital city is Rabat. Its largest city is its main port, Casablanca. Other cities include Agadir, Asuera, Fez, Marrakesh, Mekna, Mohammedia, Oujda, Wazizat, Safi, Saleh, Tangier and Tetouan. Morocco is represented in the ISO 3166-1 Alpha 2 geographical encoding standard by the symbol MA. This code was used as the basis for Morocco's internet domain, MA. Climate the country's Mediterranean climate is similar to that of Southern California, with lush forests in the northern and central mountain ranges of the country, giving way to drier conditions and inland deserts further southeast. The Moroccan coastal plains experience remarkably moderate temperatures even in summer, owing to the effect of the cold canary current off its Atlantic coast. In the Rif Middle, and high Atlas Mountains. There exist several different types of climates, Mediterranean along the coastal lowlands, giving way to a humid temperate climate at higher elevations with sufficient moisture to allow for the growth of different species of oaks, moss carpets, junipers, and Atlantic fir which is a royal conifer tree endemic to Morocco. In the valleys, fertile soils and high precipitation allow for the growth of thick and lush forests. Cloud forests can be found in the west of the Rif Mountains and Middle Atlas Mountains. At higher elevations, the climate becomes alpine in character, and can sustain ski resorts. Southeast of the Atlas Mountains, near the Algerian borders, the climate becomes very dry, with long and hot summers, extreme heat, 
and low moisture levels are especially pronounced in the lowland regions east of the Atlas Range. Due to the rain shadow effect of the mountain system, the southeasternmost portions of Morocco are very hot, and include portions of the Sahara Desert, where vast swathes of sand dunes and rocky plains are dotted with lush oases. In contrast to the Sahara region in the south, coastal plains are fertile in the central and northern regions of the country, and comprise the backbone of the country's agriculture, in which 95% of the population live. The direct exposure to the North Atlantic Ocean, the proximity to mainland Europe and the long-stretched Rif and Atlas Mountains are the factors of the rather European-like climate in the northern half of the country. That makes from Morocco a country of contrasts. Forested areas cover about 12% of the country while arable land accounts for 18%. Approximately 5% of Moroccan land is irrigated for agricultural use. In general, apart from the southeast regions, Morocco's climate and geography are very similar to the Iberian Peninsula. Thus we have the following climate zones, oceanic, determined by the killer summers, where highs rarely go above, and in terms of Esuera region are almost always around. The medium daily temperatures can get as low as, while winters are chilly to mild and wet. Annual precipitation varies from 400 to 700 mm. Notable cities that fall into this zone are Rabat, Casablanca, Kenitra, Saleh and Essuera. Continental, determined by the bigger gap between highs and lows, that results in hotter summers and colder winters than found in typical Mediterranean zones. In summer, daily highs can get as high as during heat waves, but usually are between and. However, temperatures drop as the sun sets. Night temperatures usually fall below, and sometimes as low as in midsummer. Winters are cooler, and can get below the freezing point multiple times between December and February. Also snow can fall occasionally. Fez for example registered in winter 2005. Annual precipitation varies between 500 and 900 mm. Notable cities are Fez, Mekna, Shechawen, Beni Malal and Taza, south of Agadir and east of Gerada near the Algerian borders, arid and desert climate starts to prevail. Note, due to Morocco's proximity to the Sahara Desert, and the North Sea of the Atlantic Ocean, two phenomena occur to influence the regional seasonal temperatures, either by raising temperatures by 7 to 8 degrees Celsius when Sirocco blows from the east creating heat waves, or by lowering temperatures by 7 to 8 degrees Celsius when cold damp air blows from the northwest, creating a cold wave or cold spell. However, these phenomena don't last for more than two to five days on average. Countries or regions that share the same climatic characteristics with Morocco or California, Portugal, Spain and Algeria. Annual rainfall in Morocco is different according to regions. The northwestern parts of the country receive between 500 mm and 1,200 mm while the northeastern parts received between 350 and 600 mm. North-central Morocco receives between 700 mm and up to 3,500 mm. The area from Casablanca to Essuera on the Atlantic coast receives between 300 mm and 500 mm. The regions from Essuera to Agadir receive between 250 mm and 400 mm. Marrakesh region in the central south receives only 250 mm a year. The southeastern regions, basically the driest areas, receive between 100 mm and 200 mm only, and consist basically of arid and desert lands. Botanically speaking, Morocco enjoys a great variety of vegetation. 
from lush large forests of conifer and oak trees typical of the western Mediterranean countries, to shrubs and acacias further south. This is due to the diversity of climate and the precipitation patterns in the country. Morocco's weather is one of the most pristine in terms of the four-season experience. Most regions have distinct seasons where summer is usually not spoiled by rain, and winter turns wet, snowy and humid with mild, cool to cold temperatures, while spring and falsy warm to mild weather characterized by flowers blooming in spring and falling leaves in autumn. This type of weather has affected the Moroccan culture and behavior, and played a part in the social interaction of the population. Like many other countries that fall into this type of climate zone. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.